Hey guys, welcome to the show. This video, I want to focus a little bit on how to improve and decrease the amount of print time for your 3D printing, but still retaining a high quality final product that is a really nice finish. Okay, so first, just a little bit of context. I print with ABS, I print with a brim, and I print my parts to be structural mainly. So here's the first thing that I've discovered. Now I'm running version uh, 4.7. There's a new version out now as well, 4.71. And I don't remember this being here before, but there's an icon that displays the time, the time estimation, but in more detail. Taking a look at the amount of time for printing, it seems to me like a great percentage of that time is taken doing the inner walls. Well, the inner walls aren't visible. So looking at that, how do we speed that up? What are the settings that we can adjust to speed that up? And I had a look, and of course there's a thousand settings in here wall speed there are settings that you can adjust for wall speed so let's let's um, take this time down eight hours and three minutes for comparison and 47 percent of the time is done printing inner walls three hours and 47 minutes so here we have the settings now if you change your print speed I'm on a Bowden setup with the Ender 3 version 2 Changes print speed to 80, for example, and it automatically changes the other settings. So I've chosen 72, for example, for mine. And we don't want to really adjust the outer wall too much. We can fine tune that. That is only one layer. The inner walls, I have five wall layers. So I have four inner walls. That's a big uh, percentage of the time. So let's take a look at what happens when we adjust the inner wall speed. All right, so it, it specifically says that you, you should get a decent result if you choose a number between the uh, wall speed, inner wall speed, and the infill speed. So let's choose 55, for example. So you can see there is a big difference. So from over three hours for the inner walls to two hours and 37 minutes, 38% versus 47% of the time is done printing inner walls. Now we can, um, save these settings and we'll actually try printing apart and we'll do a comparison between the two to see what the final product looks like. Does it actually print just as nice but much faster? That's what I'm interested in finding out. One thing I should mention is that I did a previous video on uh, these parts specifically and how to stop the stringing that was occurring um, that would cause me some defects in the surface finish. So the part that you're seeing now printed has that uh, applied to it already and there are a couple Cura settings. So check out the video link above if you haven't already watched that one uh, in order to find out how you can get the really, really nice surface finish that you're seeing here as well. Having a look at the part coming off the build plate, it looks pretty good. Now I have some really bright lights set up here in order to identify any defects. It, um, there's nothing really wrong with this print, it looks really good. But I would like to throw a few more prints together. Uh, here's a smaller part and I'll print one of these small parts using the old method and using the new method. I thought I'd throw in another quick comparison and that is um, the very first part of this type that I printed on this printer uh, you can see on the left hand side which is the darker gray it has a lot of defects in it and I've since made some cure profile changes to that and you can see that there's a big difference between the two the one on the right hand side being all the new uh, features that we've applied in Cura including the uh, faster inner wall speed on the left hand side we have the normal inner wall speed and on the right hand side the fast inner wall speed and just comparing these two side by side, you'll see that um, they're, they're pretty close to identical. There are a couple of little minor issues. Uh, for example, on the bottom of the part, there's still a little bit of tweaking that I need to do. But overall, these are, are really, really good uh, quality prints. I'm pretty happy with them myself. Uh, if you guys have comments on this, if you have uh, techniques that you like to use that uh, you want to share with others as well, make sure you put them in the comment section below or send me an email. Hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. I will catch you guys on the next one.